Hey, Bart here with Cycling Strong. I'm here with Dave, and we've got a whole series going on, so check those out and uh, kind of watch all the little segments if you're interested in them. This one is, I walk into the bike shop, I'm trying to buy a bike, and frame, just a little, just briefly on frame sizes. Are all frames the same? And if they're not, what do you suggest to make sure that you find the right bike size? And not just bike shops, but I know a lot of people jump on Craigslist or they find it on eBay sure. or whatever. But you know, just give us some tips so that we can make sure that we're looking for right frame sizes. Yeah, I mean, amongst manufacturers, we might see a similar size, small, right. medium, large, extra large, 48, 50, 52, yep. 54, 56. But between manufacturers, mm -hmm. that 48, 50, 52, 54, 56, may not have the same dimensions right. or even the same geometry. Right. And so you, you've got to spend some time looking at how your old bike might match up and if it was a good fit mm -hmm. uh, and how that will match up to the brand new 54. Right. Uh, because, you know, going from, say, a Specialized to a Cannondale. Right you're going to see a little bit shorter top tube. Mm -hmm. You might see a little bit shorter head tube mm -hmm. based on the, on the particular frame that you're interested in. Okay. Uh, and so you've got to be aware of those differences. Right. Um, a lot of shops will have somebody who's really good and has great interest in making sure that mm -hmm. geometry matches up because right. they want you to be a return customer for sure. life. And so they want to make sure that when you walk out with this bike, that you're coming back to them for the next one. Absolutely. Uh, so there are tools, you know, you can just take the geometry charts right. off of the manufacturer's website and start doing some matching up. Yeah. Uh, someone who's really familiar with bike fit can help you out with that as yeah. well, because they're going to understand how those differences will present with components on board. Right. Uh, the best situation is if a shop has a demo fleet, Mm -hmm. And you can take that demo bike, if you know your fit numbers or you've been very happy with your current setup, right. they can apply those to the demo bike and take advantage of that. Get out and ride the bikes. Um, ride a variety of bikes. Good. Go to different shops, try different brands. Make yeah. sure that you're getting on the bike uh, that fits you the best, mm -hmm. that has the most ride comfort. Yeah. Um, you know try out a lot of different options before you make that final decision because we end up spending a fair amount of dollars. Yeah, we do. So what I did was obviously came to Dave. I said, look, here's all my measurements. Help me find what, you know, the best bike fit is for me. And so he spent a lot of time with the different calculations, different bike frames that we were looking at and uh, helped me dial that in and then did our fit. So that's how I went about it. Uh, I recommend the same thing to you if you're looking for something like that. That way I got a non-biased person, once again, that wasn't trying to sell me anything, just trying to help me get where I needed to get, and that was important to me. So stay tuned, and uh, if you have any questions, make sure you ask those below, and we'll make sure we try to get back to you. Talk to you soon.